it's Dave Johan once again for the Boxing Voice. Pleased to be joined by Habil, uh, the Panther Khan. How are you, Habil? I'm good, mate. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. How's sunny Rochdale today? Uh, it's not quite sunny. It's raining. A bit cold as well, so it's a bit of uh, shit weather, but you know. Yeah, uh, it, it is what it is. I mean, um, what a year. You're supposed to be making um, a, a debut and... Um, which is it fair to say just keeps on getting pushed back at the, at the moment with, with the COVID situation or have you got a date now? No, basically it was meant to happen probably like um, uh, April time, May time they were saying. Like that was when the coronavirus started hitting and then of course um, it just started going back, 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 back and then now we just don't have a date now. So I'm just, I'm just training, I'm just, I'm ready. When fight day happens, I'm ready for it. I'm just, I'm just waiting now. Just, just taking over in gyms, training over, and just doing normal stuff. Just training. Can't really, really do much over the coronavirus and that. So, yeah, it's difficult, isn't it? Because um, so many other fighters in your position, there's there's loads that we speak to which are who were due to make their uh, professional debut, and then with the announcement on Saturday as well of of, of gyms closing and so on and so forth and travel yeah. restrictions. It just puts everything back um, a bit more, doesn't it? To be fair, yeah, it's a bit it's a bit harder because, of course, I'm from Russia, so I always go to Derby to train with Uncle Asga, my coach and my manager. So, of course, I have to go travel to Derby. So it's gonna be it's gonna be quite hard now to go all the way down there to train. So, of course, we gotta to listen to the government and stuff, but it's a bit of a hard one, sticky one still, isn't it? But of course, you can, I can do my stuff here running what not, pads as well, so we'll find, we're, we're, all, we're, we're always going to be training no matter what. Yeah, we're campaigning at, at middleweight, um, and if there was a catch weight for you, because sometimes you float up to super middleweight as well, and, and you want to get, ideally, do you want to yeah. get back down to, to middle, or is it? Or, yeah, or I'm going to I'm gonna, I'm gonna get, I'm I'm get back down to middleweight, of course, um, uh, Eating habits are a bit, it's a bit hard when your mum starts making you nice food and stuff like that. So I need to stay, I need to stay away from stuff like that. I need to get on a strict diet and stuff. But when it comes more to um, uh, fight, when they give me a fight date, that's when, of course, I'll start sticking to my diet properly and stuff like that. Yeah. I mean, what kind of... I've seen the, the stuff that you and, uh, and Asgi have been doing, Asgi being the, the former... Um, assistant coach Tyson Fury currently the, the assistant coach to Ben Davidson and Josh yeah. Taylor, um camp so a lot of pedigree there from from Asgi and and, and taking yeah no 100% take he's taking taking you to quite a few um, of the gyms and, and so forth have you have you trained with Ben uh, Davidson yet or or Shabazz Masood no no I've, I haven't I haven't trained with them yet um, uh, we're just me and Uncle, um, uh, just like we're just training, with he's teaching me a lot of new stuff that I haven't been taught before, so it's a lot different. So, like, when I first went to Uncle, I was like, I was more of like a, I had a more of an amateur, amateur style, so I was more rushing in stuff like that. But Uncle, of course, started teaching me the more of the professional way of just like staying there, winning, using your job, more stuff like that. So, we're just all learning still, yet, yeah? and even. Even though the coronavirus has even hit, it's still kind of a blessing in a way because it makes me um, uh, work more on the stuff that I need to be worked on. Do you know what I mean? Mm. So um, hopefully one day I'll probably one day he'll take me down there to the other gyms and stuff like that. But right now we're just training, just learning new stuff and trying to like get me to top level and then we we'll take from there, won't we? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, fighting a middleweight. Um... Who are your, your, your sort of inspirations at British level and also at, at world level? Because it's a fantastic weight, isn't it? Middleweight. Uh, British level, I like Billy Joe Saunders. He's top fighter. Mm -hmm. Very good. Um, I say world, world level, my favourite boxer of all of them is um, uh, Mayweather. And you, so you, he's one of my best. You, you saw the what? announcement, didn't you, that he made... Um, in, in one of the newspapers last week, saying that's it, you know, there's there's no there's no uh, coming back. That his career. Yeah, I know, I know, I know, man. He was one of the best fighters, the defensive styles. But I like Javante Davis um, uh, as well, and T Teofimo Lopez as well. Quite good fighters as well. What did you think of Javante Davis's uh, stunning KO KO of the year for you? 
What a shot that was. It was a nasty uppercut, wasn't it? Yeah, perfectly timed and, and right on the, on the kisser, wasn't it, to be fair? Yeah, it was a nasty uppercut. I was expecting him to get knocked out, to be honest, Santa Cruz. I thought, um, uh, but of course, he came out with it, didn't he? Yeah. So, of course, it's a, bit, it's, a, it's a big jump, isn't it? But, of course, he did his best, so hats off to himself. Yeah, and when, again, if, if you were to sort of think about this logically now, if the, the coronavirus scare is extended and it possibly goes into next year, you may be fighting behind closed doors. You've seen a lot of shows on TV now where yeah. the new norm is fighting behind closed doors. Sometimes, I mean, I'll be honest with you, when I saw the, um, the, the Shizora Anusik fight the other day, you had the crowd yeah. and, and when it cut to people like Anthony Joshua in the crowd and everything like that. It, yeah. I think we're getting there now where it's looking like, um, you know, this is the new norm, this is the atmosphere. Is that something that you're, you're mentally sort of prepared for, which is fighting behind closed doors? Yeah, well, like I said, whenever they give me a fight day, wherever it is, I'm ready for it. Like, I'm, I've been ready for it. Of course, I've been training all my life. So, whenever they give me the go, even if it's with fans or without fans, like, I'm, all, I'm just going to be ready for it whenever. As long as, as soon as they give me the nod, I'm just, I'm, I'm good to go. Like, I'm, I'm just, like, I'm just itching to fight now. Like, just, I want to fight. So, of no. course. Good stuff. And... Was it an easy was it an easy thing signing with with Asky because of the the work he's done with uh, Dan Davidson, Tyson Fury, uh, Josh Taylor, uh, Huey Fury, working with Peter Fury, so a lot of experience there. Um, so um, was it an easy decision for you. Um, uh, basically, how it started off was that um, uh, I was um, I think this was like last year for two years now I was injured because of my um, uh, knuckle. I cracked my knuckle, so it got it got repaired um, uh, this year, basically, at the start. Like, actually, it was last year, actually, it got repaired. So, of course, I was just training in my normal uh, gym, Queensway, we see that's in Rochdale. And my uncles, um, uh, my uncle Barry and my uncle Said, um, they basically introduced me to Asgi, said to me, come over and um, uh, he'll teach you, he'll see how you are and stuff like that. So, of course, then that's when me and my dad um, uh, came to the decision. We thought, you know what? Well, like, let's take it further. And then uncle said that he'll manage me and coach me. So I thought, you know what, we'll go off that. And plus, the training, the training that he does there is is classic as well. It's hard. It's good. And every time that like, you think you know a lot, but you don't know a lot because there's always new stuff that you learn every single time. So as much as that, every time I go there, I'm always learning different stuff. And of course, they push you to your levels. Like uncle, that makes you train hard. Like don't you don't let you like not train or when you go that you have to give 100 percent. so it's something that i need something that i need so it's, so as soon as when i went there first time it was a good like when i went there it was good i liked the atmosphere there i liked how the training was there so i thought you know what he's the right move for me so i thought you know what he's the right person for me mm -hmm. so it's a good transition um yeah no it's good talk at the moment in in terms of boxing um I just wanted your opinion on this. Was the uh, was the Deontay Wilder um, latest sort of statement? Have you been keeping up to to date with sort of things that have allegedly been? Said? I don't think I've seen the Deontay Wilder one. I've seen a bit of it, him saying stuff, but I, di I didn't know what he said. So it was about the um, the water could have been spiked. He wasn't his. I'm, I'm paraphrasing here. The water was possibly spiked. Um, he deserves the rematch with. With Fury, what, what what are your thoughts on that? I don't know. Deontay Wilder's playing a different. I don't know what he's playing with him. Like, I, I I just think he's picking excuses now, to be honest. And uh, to Tyson Fury will be back to the ring, I think. So I don't think he's on the level of Tyson Fury. Yeah. So yeah. I don't. I think he's just doing it for a bit of a money money thing, and I don't I don't I don't really think he actually believes he'll beat him. I don't I don't think so. It's a shame the rematch isn't actually happening. Um, but mm. we'll... He was saying something about um, uh, Tyson Fury's gloves, wasn't he? Something with yes. his gloves or something yep. like that. I've seen that part. Yep, so that was one of the, the things that came out earlier, sorry, later, latter part of last week. Um, and then coupled with the thing about the, uh, the water possibly being spiked as well. So there's two. All oh, right, yeah. I heard him saying something about like when Tyson Fury punches, like his hands or something, 
I don't know something with that. I just felt like it was a dumb, dumb thing to say, to be honest. And just on your career as well, then. So when you're when you're out in, in action next, so people that haven't seen you, what are they going to expect? So in in fight number one, entertainment, knockouts, hundred percent knockouts, entertainment and knockouts. Yeah, good, good. And what was your amateur career like, Habil? Uh, what do you say? Your, your amateur career. Um, I had like 20 fights, was it? I didn't have um, a lot of fights because, it's, like I said, I was injured a bit. Um, but I was I had like 20 fights, won like 15 of them. But um, uh, I went to like, I won like quite a bit of North season titles. I came semi-finals and nationals. So I've had a decent, it was a decent run. But of course, like I said, like the hand wrapping stuff, like in amateurs, I couldn't. I couldn't put extra layers on my hands because, of course, the, my hands used to get messed up. So that's why I thought, you know what, the pro level would be better because they could wrap your hands more better, don't they? Mm -hmm. So, of course, like, when it's fight time, we're ready. Like, we're going to get, we're gonna bring entertainment. Yeah, make sure, you let, make sure you let us know when, when that is going to be. Um, no, 100%. I'm going to let everyone know. Everyone's going to find out. All my, everyone's going to know. I want everyone to be there. <laughs> no, that'd be good. That'd be good. And um, just wanted your thoughts on um, Kel Brook and, and Terence Crawford. So we had a big fight last weekend with uh, yeah. well, quite a few, to be fair, didn't we? We had Anui versus uh, uh, um, uh, Maloney. We had uh, Usyk versus Chisora. Um, mm. There was Jonathan Davis versus um, Santa Cruz. And not next week, but the week after, we've got um, Terence Crawford against Kel Brook. Um, it's gonna be a, I don't know how that's going to play out, that fight. But Kel Brook's been out for a while, hasn't he? Yeah, last fall. Well, it was actually in March when he fought DeLuca, but I, I was thinking maybe you're... Hopefully it's not a, a biased sort of northern judgment here from, from Kel being from up north as well. But what's your... Uh, what, what's, your what, what's your heart telling you? And, and what's, your, what's your head telling you on this one? So basically, uh, I'm like, don't get me wrong, Kel Brook's a very good fighter. Uh, I think he's class as well. But Terence Crawford, I don't know, he finds always he always finds a way to win. He's class as well. So I, I would be saying Terence Crawford would beat Kel Brooks. But it would be like even when Kel Brooks fought Sean Paul, I thought Sean Paul was gonna beat Kel Brooks. But he pulled up he pulled the upset out. So he beat Sean Paul. So I'm not I don't know to be honest, I'm thinking. But I'm, my heart's going more with uh, Terence Crawford. But I don't know how he's gonna come up because he's been up, he's been up for quite a while. He's been up for quite a while, and of course, the last fight wasn't somewhat like like testing kind of thing. Do you know what I mean? So like, it's a bit of a hard one still. Yeah, um, I mean, it was a case of um, when Terence Crawford stopped Amir Khan, Amir yeah, Khan, yeah, and 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 also at the same time, it looks like the fight between. Khan and Brook may may never happen. It's a shame. Nah, that, I think I think Amir Khan um, uh, run away from that one. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, so it's just unfortunate that the public really wanted to see that. Um, that would have um, that would have been a good fight. That that would have been a very good fight. Yeah, Bolton versus uh, Sheffield. Sheffield. Yeah. That would have been a very really good fight. War of the North. There, it would have been quite. Interesting. Yeah, I brought Amir Khan to win, but I don't know. I felt like there were just excuses going down there. I don't know what was going on, but. Um, I don't know, but it would have been a top fight though. Yeah. So, where can people follow you then? Where can we get more of your journey? And have you got any shouts? Um, on on Instagram, it's Habil H A B I L underscore Khan K H A N seven. That's my Instagram. And my Snapchat is uh, Raja Habil R A J A, and then H A B I L Habil. Good stuff. Have you got any shout outs? Uh, shout out to Uncle Azgi. Shout out to all the team in Derby, um, Siraj, all of them. Um, shout out my Uncle Barry and say, without them, like, it would not have been possible. So they did a lot for me. And yeah, shout out to everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Whoever I did say, they know I, they, they, I just can't remember it right now. But shout out to everyone who's helped me get here. That that's fair enough. Now make sure you let let us know when your when your debut is. Hopefully it's very soon. Um, yeah, hopefully. Yeah, if, if not, then watch out for Habil Khan, who will be making a, a pro debut soon. Uh, as is quite a few many people, unfortunately, haven't been able to uh, to get to the debut stage at the moment. That were hoping to 
to make a, a debut, including the Olympians as well, to be fair. So mm. I'll give that to, to all of those. But um, yeah, make sure you stay in touch and thank you once again for all, from the Boxing Voice of you. Nice one, mate. Nice one. Cheers. See you in a bit. See you later. Well, if you enjoyed the video, feel free to hit the like, subscribe, and share. As always, if you want to support us to the next level, head over to the patreon.com backslash the boxing voice. We have tons of exclusive from Border Wars, Entitled, Betting Shows, the list goes on and on and on. But in addition to that, if you guys have questions for fighters, trainers, or promoters, this is where you can submit them. We will run out, get these questions answered, and put it back on the show just for you guys. Appreciate it. Peace.